Dap King, every day, Dap King, don't be gay, Dap King in the house, Ray of Sunshine, <laughs> it's my, mine, yeah, uh, Yo, yo, what number is this? Number 76? Wait, 78. should I do the countdown? We didn't do a countdown. I don't give a fuck. We just started already, dude. Dap, dap King. King. <laughs> yip, yip. Let me dap see you, King. Dap. Oh. 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 It's a broken Hitler solution. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever taught me how to adapt. Where did you first see it? I saw it uh, on YouTube. I, I want to learn that, but I never learned it. I never learned the moonwalk <laughs> me, or nothing. Let me see it again. Oh, Kalala loves it. She's gonna fuck oh, you tonight. Oh shit! And we, who well, we got in the house is but the betrayer of all betrayers. Judas himself. Judas, Judas himself. Gilbert Galeon. Judas, motherfucker. <laughs> Where the fuck were you last week, bro? I was spending time with my father. Nah, family, nah, man. Because family sick? time is important. Was no. he sick? No. Well, then there we go. But he had AIDS. Oh, he has AIDS. Mm. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Thank you. That's the only thing that gets you. To be yeah, like. that's the only thing. That's the only excuse. He has HIV or is he full blown AIDS now? I think it might be full blown. Nah, he doesn't, man. He's not. Dad's a Christian, man. He's a good dude. That's true. Let me say something right now, man. Um, I'm happy to be with all of you, and um, I have a message out. I have a message out to um, Michael Rappaport. Oh shit! Yo, Michael Rappaport. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, I heard you on the Fighter and the Kid, and you said you're going to be the best guest of the year, 2017. And I want to <laughs> let you know that I gotcha. Oh, oh Dap King. Every day, yeah, don't, don't be gay. Don't be sucking dick. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Dap King. Too much? What's wrong? We have too gay, much? You have gay followers. Why would you say oh, that? Oh, shit. Be gay, be gay. Be gay, be gay. Be gay. Dap King. Another thing I want to say Slap King in the house. <laughs> Slap King, Dap King. Slap King, King want to say that uh, Georgetown, USA needs to stop showing his dick on the fucking Instagram and mm. shit like that, man. What the fuck's your problem, I bro? Saw, I saw that. I was a little. <laughs> well, no, hold on one second. But it he sent you a separate one just for you. Yeah, what? with his dick. Without a hip, full yeah. full frontal. Has he done this before? Yes. Yeah. So I, why what just is it? Bobby? Do yeah, you like? that's gay, dude. <laughs> but be gay. But be gay. Dap king. Because you're special, Bobby. You know, it's a, it's the year of the cock. I, I know, thought, but is it, be, is it is it is it? I you have, appreciate it. I know, but do you are you trying to? First of all, number one, <laughs> that's my thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you're kind of stealing from my thing. Mm-hmm. Copycat. So you're you're trying to be me or what? Yeah, I think you're somebody to aspire to. Oh, Whoa, that, wow. feels that feels good. Yeah. Yeah. That feels yeah. nice. And um, oh, well, then you know what? I'll allow it. Yeah. I will allow you to have this one. You can show me your dick. But let me tell you something right now. If it gets sexual in any kind of way, like you pull me aside and go, hey, man, I just want to let you know I have feelings and stuff, you're out. If, <laughs> wait, wait, oh wait what, what would you Hold say on. if George was like, yeah, Gilbert, yeah, go check on Kalana. We're going to start in five minutes. Hey, Bobby, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. Like, like, let's play that out. Yeah. Let's play it out. Yeah, Gilbert, uh, check on Kalana, all right? Uh, all right. I'm going to close the door really quick. As, uh, what's up, George? What's up? Yeah, so, you know, numbers are good on YouTube. Yeah, it's great. Uh, numbers are great. Thanks for your help, by the way. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, I mean, you've been like a workhorse. And, Can you uh, sound more like him, please? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, Bobby, I want to talk to you about something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I've been watching you lately. Uh-huh. And by lately, I mean this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a really big fan. Yeah, yeah, um, you know, and I see you, and I think you're you're trying to like, you, 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 you're you not idolize me, but you look to me like a role model, and I, I feel that from you. Um, that's oh, I mean, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is it? What's up? Um, you know, have you been just checking out the you know dick pics I've been sending you? Yeah, I did. I've been watching. It's funny. Yeah, no, thanks. You kind of inspired me to do it. Thank yeah, you're welcome. Uh, just zero question. Not a big deal. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Jessica. Uh, <laughs> it's not a big deal. Uh, she turned me down. Not a big deal. Uh, uh, anyways, anyways. Uh, yeah. Uh, I uh. Yeah. I, I think I I have feelings for you, Bobby. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Um. Sometimes I look at you. I look at you as a mentor, uh-huh. a leader, okay. a captain. All right. But then sometimes I'm just. Can like, you come out to the kitchen with me? No, we got to keep the door closed. No, just come to the kitchen we with me. Keep the door closed. No, we're in the kitchen. George okay. locks door. I I, I, I take out the knife. <laughs> <laughs> I go pull your dick out. Of course, I pull it out for you. And I chop it off. Oh, uh, Jessica will never have you back. Don't ever do that, dude. Don't pull it out, George. That would be the greatest tiger belly twist of the century. That Gilbert is not gay. George, George is wants gay. to yeah, fuck the yeah. shit out of Bobby. <laughs> Or you know what I might do? I might just suck it. Oh Whoa. my what? Yeah, look at me right now, man. Pull your dick out. I'll suck it. Hey, not on this podcast. I'll tell you why I'll suck it. Because out of all the dicks on planet Earth, 
What? He's the last one I want to suck. <laughs> I swear to God, I would suck Trump's dick before I suck your dick. Wow. I would suck Jerry Sandusky's son's dick. Wow, that's Be- Sandusky. Yeah, right. Deep, deep roots. But of the reason why I would suck there. it is because Michael Johnson's it, Michael Johnson's son that you've talked about. Would who's you Michael Johnson? Dick? Like that fairy guy. I don't. I don't Magic really talk Johnson. About this. Magic Johnson. What did I say? Michael Johnson's a track <laughs> who, star. Who the fuck is Michael, Michael Johnson? Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would never suck your dick. Don't ever do that. <laughs> and if, hey, George, even look. Even if you have your feelings for me, don't even fucking say it. I'll fucking kill you. He might have just broke his heart right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, but I want to talk about Jerry Sandusky. Mm-hmm. You know who that is? No. Mm-hmm. You don't know who that is? No. Penn State. Do you remember Penn State the football? The yes, the, the coach. coach. He touched all the kids. Mm-hmm. He yeah. touch or he did stuff with. Did stuff yeah. like he went all the way, Think dog. Things with the kids. I mean, cut, 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 cut all day. Yeah. You know, with little kids. Did he say he fucked kids? I thought he was in the ass. Oh, I thought he was just masturbating these children, which is still horrible. No, at one point, no, Jerry Sandusky, at one point, like, an assistant coach was walking into the locker rooms or whatever, and he heard slapping, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, Bobby just farted. He looked, and he saw Jerry Sandusky just fucking fucking this kid in the ass. Mm -hmm. And he's in prison. Is he dead? No. Uh, Sandusky, no. The other guy died. Yeah, Paterno died. Yeah. But today, his Joe son, Paterno, his yeah. son is now in custody because he was doing the same shit. Wow! It runs in the family. Is his son a coach at Penn State? No, no, no. I think his. I don't know what his son does. It's, but either way, it really makes you gives you pause to think that right perhaps this is really something that is embedded in your genetics. I mean, because no. they say if 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 murder can be embedded in your genetics like the murderous gene you know if you're you know you might be more inclined than others if you have a long line of let's say mafia hitmen it might be more you know you might be more prone yeah if you're not given the right environment you might be more prone to be a murderer yeah I, I, I'm guessing it's the same with like sec- being a sexual predator well also you know I it's think an illness I know right? I think what happened was Jerry Sandusky probably molested his child oh that's you know and too, then yeah. that you know became how he received love right and mm-hmm. so he and then he i don't know sexual sexual sexually it could have just fucked him up it have probably he's probably a fucked up kid yeah but he's a grown man now so how old is he like at least 40 he's 40 yeah <laughs> you know what it was driving me crazy about that whole thing is when like they took joe paterno's statue down and they fired him and whatnot right they went there was a riot at penn state you remember that yeah Mm -hmm. i remember watching on youtube some asian guy like flipping over cars and lighting things on fire he's like and he was just like so emotional about you know and it's like i wanted to say hey man he enabled this guy yeah all right so there's no rioting i understand women protesting i understand you know protests you know but you can't protest that i mean was there proof that he was fully aware he knew about it he admitted he knew about it but he never went to i think he did go to the authorities but they didn't follow up on it and then he never said it again but that to me is still enough you know back in the day too i mean it's a funny topic isn't it with the older (laughs) the older generation yeah yeah. it went from you know slap king every day and then not to molest kids getting fucked in the I always do think that, though, like a lot of just back in the day, so many things are naturally swept under the rug. That's just what you did. You know, you don't bring things to to light, even if it's something that you don't agree with. It's a very Catholic thing to do. Just sweep it all under the rug and hope it goes Mm -hmm. away. You know, even if you know in your heart like that what you're seeing is wrong. Yeah. You just don't want to be a part of it. It's almost like you block it out and hope, oh, God will do his work. He'll get his. Let me just keep my mouth shut. You know? Yeah. Yeah, for me, it's like if I was molested by a priest or whatever, and I knew that priest was still like, you know, in service. How do you say it? Working? <laughs> working. Yeah, like right, working. Preaching. Right, still yeah. preaching and stuff, right? I would probably do a sleepers and kill him. Really? Just kill him? Not go yeah, to I, I think that if, he, if I knew that he was molesting other kids, I would be like, nah, I'm going to have to get him. That's not really, like, he wouldn't be really serving. You, you know, be serving him you know what I would do? Though. I would fuck him back. 
Yeah, okay, fuck them back. Yeah, yeah, why do you always yeah, get yeah, fuck back? Fu- <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why is that you're always your go-to? Like, I'm going to kill someone. Because nah. I, cause I'm going to say this right now. I think it's eye for an eye. He fucked me. I'm going to fuck you. Butthole for a butthole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's the best route. Not kill. He might actually like it, though. Maybe that's oh, what he that's, wants. That well, then I would, you know what I would do? That he's happy then. You're Unless fucking he's him. a top and he just never wants to ever be like the bottom. No, Bobby that's will be true. the power. Power He'll be the bottom. power top. He'll power top that situation. What's, what's power topping? When you're on top and you like, you can also be hard. a power bottom though. Is that that's a lot of? Quality. Oh, I would be a good power bottom. You do the thing. Where yeah, you I would like. I would like. You... I would arch my back like this, mm-hmm. and I'd clinch my butthole, and then release, clinch, release. Yeah. Right, so that they get some sort of, you know, maybe I would do it like. What do you call it when they you thrust back? No, you know what do you call it when the women do the the the, the butt thing? The twerk. <sighs> twerk. I would twerk. <laughs> you twerk on his dick. Yeah, yeah. I'd be on my stomach, and I would twerk. And then he would make a noise like, Whoa, <laughs> right? Like he'd never like. I mean, if I was in prison, I know, but I know, I'm but just I'm just saying, saying right the now. The first dude, time you I... twerk, I hope it's not on a <laughs> dick, but it's just in a club. Just don't can... twerk on a dick. He's totally... The imagery of Bobby Lee twerking on a dick. But here's why. He's stealing that move from me because every time I do that on him, he does the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Bobby, do, Bobby, do, why do you turn into a ghost? You know, that's what you do. Why do you turn into a ghost? She does Because I'm does super power and, oh, bottom. Right, right. So in my head, I'm like, if I was in prison, because here's the thing. You have to use... <laughs> you have to use... Well, you have to use what you have. I don't have muscles. I'm not a big guy. I can't fight back. So what I would do is I would fuck my way to the top if I was in prison. So right away. And then all the, like, all the gangs would be like, dude, this guy twerks. Like he, on his stomach. He doesn't say nothing. You know what the most fucked up <laughs> thing about him is? On his stomach, yeah. like a fish with no fish? water, yeah, just yeah, flopping. Yeah. Can I admit something what? sexually between uh, us? Yeah, go ahead. It's, I think this has always been so <laughs> fucked up of you. Yeah. Uh-oh. But, you know, he gets tired really quickly, right? Yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's mentioned I that. I smoke. Okay, so after... <laughs> I'm a smoker. After he's I mentioned lungs. that on the podcast, yeah. he was like, you know, I'm going to make... I think he tried to change. Yeah. And so I think he actually tried to be on top. Yeah, yeah. But he... <laughs> Oh, you're always on bottom. No, yeah, usually it's always on the bottom. I just like laying my back <laughs> and, and looking up at this. But then when I called him out on it, he was like, you know, I think like I'll make a change. So he would just, he still would be, he would be on top, but he would ask me to do all the work. So like missionary, I would basically be <laughs> fucking him from the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like, when, yeah, so so I would, when you're holding the or leg. Like, well, I mean, just, uh, let me just say something, right? Just propping my <laughs> arms up like this. My fucking arms start shaking, right? So, so that I can't do any more or I'll, I'll pass out. So if I'm on the bottom, I'm yeah. the one who has to do the up, upwards it, it, fucking. It, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do so much work. And I go like this. I go, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ooh. Can you not yeah. be a ghost right now? Ugh. Yeah. I didn't know that. You don't do any thrust oh, motions. Fuck you. No, this is good. You know what I mean? I'm 45, bro. Those <laughs> bones I have bad lungs. In my 20s? Fuck yeah. I was a rabid machine, bro. Mm-hmm. But now. By 45, dog? I'm an old man. Slept king. I'm the slept king, dude. <laughs> but my point is, is that yeah, if I was in prison, I'd run the joint. With you know? your dick. Well, yeah. yeah. Like I, I wouldn't be like Andy Defray. Oh, like, you dig a know. hole in the fucking wall. You wouldn't escape. You would just no, accept I would it. Ju- no, I'd just be like that guy that fucks everybody from the bottom. That's all. <laughs> That's his tombstone. <laughs> yeah. It'd be a different movie. R.I.P. The hole would be my butthole. Jesus, <laughs> my butthole would be so big they think that okay, it is an actual fucking you know escape route, <laughs> right? I'd have a poster on my fucking butthole just as a trick, yeah, <laughs> like a fair faucet poster, yeah. and they would bust through and they would go in my butthole and they realize where is wait oh, I think we're, we're in Bobby's butthole we're inside of it, <laughs> we're inside. Yeah, this is not an escape route. <laughs> it's like the night. That's of. how big my butthole. Have you seen the night of? Of course, I've seen. That. I feel like I love Bobby would do the same thing in that situation. Yeah. What happened in the night of? Well, the kid he befriended the top guy yeah, to yeah. teach him how to read and like st- stimulate him, uh, you know, Mentally. intellectually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would clearly stimulate the That's leaders. That's true. What would you do? I want intellectually. I read books too. And then mm-hmm. at nighttime, it depends on how long I've been in there. If I have a year sentence, I'm not gonna fuck nobody. Five, even five years. It's got to be a life situation. Oh, actually. so li- only life you will. Yeah, okay. Dude. Okay. I ain't gonna fuck nobody if I know I'm gonna get out in five years. I would survive. I would bite dicks. So you're, okay. Yeah, I mean, I would do all kinds of stuff to survive. Jesus. You know what I mean? I don't like your questioning right now, no, dude. That's interesting. You think I'm yeah. gay, dog? No. Dap King, be gay. Nah. Be gay. Nah, be nah, gay. Nah, nah, nah. Our cat has diabetes. I don't know about that. Dude, you're not no vet. Is this for real? 
Yeah, she can fucking. I'm on the road. First of all, I was before you get into that, babe. Is I was in San Jose, and um, this African American l- listener lady, beautiful lady, she made you a scarf. Where's my Ooh. scarf? It's in the bag over there. But um, I, she they wrote a note and I lost it. <gasps> Do you like a letter? So I'm so sorry. Yeah, but, but that's a, the best part of the gift. I understand the note. that. I understand that, but um, I'm sorry. But they she did make you one, and I brought it. It's really nice. It's a dick. Awesome. It's a ah. dick? Yeah, she knitted a dick. I didn't know it was a dick at first. <laughs> yeah. She knitted it. Yeah. You want me to go get it? Yeah, go get it. I'll go get it. it. Yeah, yeah. So our cat has diabetes. Herself. Yeah, tell me. So did you bring it to the doctor? Well, or? you know which cat it is. It's uh, the cat we named Bobby Jr. Oh, <laughs> that was already foreshadowing. Yeah, so I basically, um, I it, he was fated to be a diabetic cat. I just, all of a sudden, he started drinking a whole lot of water. Like, every time I look over at the bowl, cats aren't notorious drinkers. So look at it. Well, is that because of its diet? You feed all your cats the No, same because thing. you become very thirsty when you're diabetic. Oh, Whoa. my God. Wow. Wait, can you stand in front of the camera? That's so you- cool. So this is the head, right? That's the head of the or dick. The, right, right here. So, okay, so this is the head of the <laughs> it's dick. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And then you pull it out, and then yeah. that's a sack down here. Right and she's there. so smart, she made a pink dick. It's a oh, pink So thoughtful. Dick. It's George's long dick. Oh, my God. I'm going to wear this scarf forever. She made this? She made it. That's yeah. insane. That's amazing. And then I said, why don't you, you know what we should do? We should make this, have her do it as a tiger. We'll put a tiger belly logo on it. Like a merch. Thing. Yeah, and this will be a merch thing. Yeah, like a but giant But she hand it. does it. She hand does it. It probably would take so much time for her. This was made with love. They would, would charge 200 bucks. Yeah, 200, 300. Yeah, yeah. Pretty nice. And then we got all this other merch here. We got these T-shirts, y'all. Uh, we got um, we got this one, you know. And we'll then do we, that at the end. I just did it. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just fucking did it just now. So, I'll just false. do it now. Yeah, but you can't. And then we got this one right here. It's a blue one. It's a blue one, and the one I'm wearing right now, do. Yeah. This is nice. And then there's gonna be some George Pink Dick shirts coming out. Yeah. Slap King, Slap King shirts. Oh my God. So um. Human just okay. So Human, I don't know if I should talk about. Well, this. tell us about just San Jose. Tiptoe. I don't know, man. I, I don't know if I can tiptoe. I might have well, to dive in. I. I, <laughs> <laughs> I said I I'm go, not gonna go, talk go, about it, but full dive. I might have to dive in, bro. Just dive in. Well, number one, I want to just say this, okay? Is and this is from my heart, mm-hmm. and I my heart is shrouded in darkness, in a sea of despair, and nothingness. It's just a black organ, at this point. But there's a little pink left and a little light left. Mm. And that little light is saved for Tiger Belly fans. There you go. And 2015, I probably sold 400 tickets all weekend. Hard numbers. Mm, yeah. This last weekend, 2,000. Wow. Whoa. <clears throat> and um, it's all Tiger Belly fans. You can hear it in the audience. You can feel it. I touch them. I do. I touched them. Not there was a, a girl who was real who went to your show who was, was really upset with you. I Why? Think. Upset. I think that um, from what I understand, she might have screamed out "Slept King" or or something "Tiger Belly." Yeah. And um, I I'm guessing this is what you did because this is what you do to everybody who screams in the middle of the show. Is, yeah. Shut the fuck up, lady. Which is what you always do, right? Yeah. And I don't know. She just started writing a bunch of like. Um, comments I on know. the Instagram okay. pictures talking about how you're addicted to Tiger Belly fans. Yeah, that's not true. Number one, that's not true. Mm-hmm. I know it's and, not and, true. I, no, and also, Tiger Belly fans know that's not true. Okay. Number two is there were ladies and men heckling. Mm. And heckling's fine, but don't do it in the middle of a setup of a joke. And then I might have snapped. I don't remember. I did five shows. I don't remember which show it was. Mm-hmm. But po- that's the only circumstances that I could see me burning a bridge. But I think there was another lady I go. She was heckling through the whole show and she had big titties. So I go, <laughs> man, your titties are fucking amazing. And she was like, yeah, they are. I go, but your face, though. Oh, right? hey, I'm on board with that. Right. And, heck, then she, and then she funny. looked sad. Oh, that's right? me. Okay, no, I'm not on board. Yeah. That, would, that would make me sad, I think. No, but she was heckling during the show. But I will say, if you're loud, if you have enough balls to be loud and be seen in the middle of the show, you might be asking for it. Yeah, get ready for it. You're going to get roasted. But one other way than or that another. lady, I feel like, I don't know, man. But And but, I'm sure she was pretty. You just said, you just said it just to mm, say it. She was beautiful, <laughs> I mean. 
this face was beautiful. She was beautiful. Symmetrical. Symmetrical face. <laughs> but but also the reason why I go to San Jose, I look forward to it, is because um, there's only a couple of clubs where I can just say the manager is my friend. Mm-hmm. And Human, some Persian dude that runs the San Jose Improv is my friend. He's a good dude. And also ladies in San Jose, the guy hasn't had any pussy in a while. So no, uh, no. You're let's plugging be real. for him. He's helping. Let's be real. Wait, dude. really? Because Human's a pretty cute guy. I know he's a cute dude, but I'm just saying, legit. You gotta hook up with him. He's groovy. I think he's just very picky. <laughs> Do you know what he likes? Like Persian women? I no, I mean his picky. dude. His last girlfriend, Caitlyn, was this blonde, very pretty girl. Oh, I think that's what it is. He's probably very picky because he's a, you know he does well for himself. Yeah, he's a really nice guy. He's a nice guy. And um, but can I just say something that sad happened? What? You know he had two cats, right? <gasps> yeah. The cat that was his? Yeah. Died. Why? You know how? How? He bought a ghetto toy from like a 99 cent store. Yeah. Like a cat toy. And there was a bell that was in the middle of this toy or whatever. Yeah, stomach bowel obstruction. And he swallowed it. And I guess there was like shards in this bell and it ripped open <gasps> this cat's insides. So when they operated on the cat, they're like, there's nothing we can do. There's like 15 like slices. You know what I mean? He's going to die. So he put, he, they had to put him to sleep. How and awful. it destroyed him. He cried, he said, for days. How and days. Awful. He's very upset about it now. But um, I can't imagine, you know. But another um, reason why I like Human is because we have the same obsessions. <laughs> And I don't know if I can get into it. You, you can know. get I mean. into it. Come on. <laughs> I mean. No, no, no. I can't. I swear to God, we can't. Full dive. No, no, no. We can't. I swear to God, we can't. Okay. But let's just say that we're very, we have the same obsessions. Okay. Well, I have a few questions then. Go Uh-oh. ahead. <laughs> Follow up. So sometime over the weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I posted a picture. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and usually I know approximately how many likes, you know, I, I'm going to get for per photo. It's going to be anywhere between. 500 to 1500 generally right mm, number dropping mm. i mean that's just <laughs> yeah. in proportion to my yeah, followers yeah, yeah. or whatever yeah. right and if i get under 200 i get real sad <laughs> I'm like wow i need to take that down <laughs> but sometime i think it was sunday night you know bobby calls me he's giggling in the background he's like you know i gotta go i gotta go i'm like why what are you doing he's like i gotta go and so all of a sudden stupid. i see the same photo and it now has 4,000 likes. I'm getting just random 100 likes, 100 likes, 100, a random comments after on this last photo. Mm-hmm. So I text him. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? And I said, what? what I didn't people, do anything. People just like you. People just like you. No, because this was the most <laughs> inconsequential post. It wasn't of my titties <laughs> out. It was like of a fucking news article. Like it wasn't. He chose the news article. <laughs> People just like you, babe. So tell me, explain to me why I have an extra 3,000 likes People on a just, photo. I don't know. Bobby? Bobby. I bought them for you. <laughs> how? Let's plug the app. How? Tell us how to do that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but I don't want anyone to do it to me. So people have been... <laughs> <laughs> but you already... Ha- so people have been cheating on Instagram then all this time. Of course. Yeah, okay, the app is... Fuck it. All right. I'm just going to just, okay, so there's a free plug, but the app is called um, IG Boost. And you can buy people apps. I mean, right. at likes on, and stuff. And what, what propelled you to give me an extra 3000 just because to? It, because it's Valentine's Day. Aww. And I love, and I love you. <laughs> but they're all like fake likes. They're not Doesn't real matter. people. It's their, from the None heart, of, all of it's fake. Even if I like a photo, <laughs> let me just say something right now. When I'm on Instagram and I like somebody's photo, I just want them to like me back. Oh, like for a life. At the end of the day, well, I don't give a fuck about your nails. <laughs> you know what I mean? You I don't like give a fuck <laughs> about, you know what I mean, what food you're eating. This thing. You know, your meal, right? I just do it because, you know what? I haven't li- liked this person in, in a long time. Like this right here. This is Courtney Sherman. Mm-hmm. And this is my friend Doc, right, is in the photo. So I'm just going to like it. Mm-hmm. Just because Courtney is a friend and Francisco's in it. So you just, you know, you, oh, look at Doc. He's my favorite. We got to have him on the podcast. Yeah, we do. I love Doc. You know Doc Willis? No. Oh, he's the best. Mm-hmm. I, he's a midget black, and he's the best. He's not really technically not, a midget. He's not really but he, a midget. I, I, well, we'll have to go to a doctor and see, find out. Because, <laughs> Measure that man. Measure know. him immediately. <laughs> was, was Gary Coleman a midget? Yeah. 
No, he wasn't. Yeah, he was. You know, he had a weird disease. Is it little person? No, he had yeah, a you weird. Can't say di- I'm gonna look it up. Did did go, like I know Webster probably did. Yeah, but there are different forms of dwarfism. I'm gonna look up. Was Gary Coleman a little person? <clears throat> Coleman. Gary Cooper. What? Is Bradley Cooper a little person? Oh my God, he just liked your photo. Who did? You can't say it. Okay. Because I already know just from your look when you said that. I yeah. Who did? Who, who liked? Who liked my photo? Who do you think, Bobby? With the way she Come said on. that. Who liked my photo? Let me see here. <laughs> look at his face. Look at Bobby's face. <laughs> it's like a little <laughs> smirk. Oh, he he liked three of my photos. Yeah. And don't why point. Don't point. Why? why is it? Did you give him free likes? No. Why would he do that? Why would I do that? That's ridiculous. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous that you would say something like that. Well, but, because um, I have I I I noticed something. What? What'd you notice? <laughs> Why are you guys looking at each other like that? <laughs> say what you're going to say, woman. You really want me to say it? Well, you're bringing it up, and we're going to have to edit it out if it's something that I, I don't want to hear. I know that somebody that you're particularly obsessed okay, with all of a sudden has thousands of likes on his photos. Oh. It's a gift. For, Va- for, his, for Valentine's, Valentine's too. Valentine's Day. <laughs> this is what Bobby does every year for his closest yeah. friends. I, I just I gave Nick Youssef 3,000 likes on a <laughs> stupid fucking photo. Of his finger. Of his room. finger. You know what I mean? So I'm does, just going to do does it. Does he know? No, I, I, you know, I should, you know what, I'm going to fucking, should I, I'm going to f- call him. Or, or yeah. Just I'm going to call him on speakerphone. Like, hey man, are you blowing up? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> heard your, uh, your, your picture of your ring finger be- went viral. Yeah, what's that, dude? Like I saw it on Huffington Post. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on BuzzFeed right now. Why, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on, Nick? Oh, yeah, Where'd Nick you Yusuf. get that ring? Happy Valentine's Day, Nick. Nick. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? I'll, yeah. Please pick up, you fucking f- a- asshole. Please pick up. Put it close. So sweet. Hey, Bobby Lee. Hey, Nick Yusuf. What's How's up? It going, buddy? Pretty good. You get a lot of likes on one of your photos, or what? Mm, what? Just like just now, or no? Today, like you had the finger photo with the ring. Um, I don't know. I'll have to check. Yeah, go, just check it. Like right now? Yeah, check it right now. Okay, hold on. All right. <laughs> he seems mad. Do you see his tone? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it have three thousand? <laughs> 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 I bought I bought you likes today. Why would you Valentine's waste your money on that? Because it's just fun. Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Cost? What? How much does that cost? <laughs> yeah, how much? It costs me like. 30 bucks. What? That's so funny. Why would you $30? <laughs> because cause that fucking... And I didn't even notice it. I know. <laughs> I didn't even tell you. I know, but that's... I know. Because that, that, that photo bothered me. <laughs> it really bothered me. So I bought you 3,000 likes. You're so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You're so dumb. I know. Anyway, congratulations. Uh, Thanks. Right. You. I'll see you in Houston. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't it's notice fine. it. <laughs> no. Oh man, it's a great idea though, huh? It's like what, but it's what you have to do. We should create a company like that. Something so, like an app like that. Same it's concept. Co- yeah, some figure out some way to do. I like that stuff. I think that we should just pick random Tiger Belly listeners and, and give just them give them like a that's shit a great time. idea. We should call it the uh, 10K challenge where we get to the 10,000. Yeah, yeah, followers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you lost weight though, huh? Uh, yes, because I was bullied uh, three podcasts ago about how. Well, it works, bullying. Well, you know what? Yeah, <laughs> you know. They called you chicken legs. And that I, I walked in, and then Bobby was like, "Hey, your body looks shaped funny," and I get it why because I was wearing skinny jeans and my ass was big. Yeah, you still got you got a K-pop look about you right now with your yeah. hair all frizzled out like and your that. Your skin's all nice and smooth. Yeah, you ready for pilot season? I am. Have you been going out a lot? No, not one thing. <laughs> not really. Not really. <laughs> I'm just waiting for people to pass off on offers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Please pass, Bobby, so I can have an audition. Nah, there's it's it's been dry out there, man. It's Has dry. it? Yeah, but you know what? Even man? for you? <laughs> yeah, pretty dry. Not really. Ooh, I mean, your manager says otherwise. Yeah, I'm doing okay. You know. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't compare yourself to me, man. I do every day. What? Do you really? I some, not to are you. you. Thre- are you threatened by me? No, no I threaten myself. I, I compare myself to Asian people like you that are in your position. I'd be like, where were they at that my age? How and old you, are you now? I'm 27. So you already had Mad TV before that. No, I got oh, Mad TV when I was 30. 30. I have three years. 
Yeah. You have three years. Steven, Walking Dead, 24. Yeah, but you, you should can't really live your life. I know, like yeah. that. I, but you you see these stories, and you're like, oh man, when is my story gonna happen? But so you like, know what? You I've told you this before. It will happen when it. This happens. is your story. Mm-hmm. This podcast is your fucking story. It's a big part of your story. True. It's a big part of how you might make it. True. Right. So, but I feel like you not showing up last week was okay, like no. Was, but I, let me I, just say okay. something. Right. If you had an NBC showcase last Tuesday night. Mm-hmm. Would you have still had dinner with your dad? Uh, probably not. But that was my... Ooh. Probably not. So what I'm saying is, is that I, this is I just have, as important. It is, but I have no option with the NBC showcase because the showcase You have happens, no option. The, the reason why you have no, no option... I gave Kalila the, the options. Uh-oh, no, no, you didn't. Yes, no. No. Oh, we all want we said, oh, Yes, let's oh, go let's there. I had the test. The, I had the reason test. why you think that this, this has options is because the consequences... You don't think are real. I don't want to no. fight, but let's just be fight. clear. <laughs> no, let's I, just be clear. <clears throat> I never said I would I would cancel on Tuesday. And I said I was in the hospital. I'm, I never said we wouldn't record. And then you then um, assumed you were like, I think maybe because in your head you were like, ah, I probably have to go to Anaheim. So I'm going to text her and say, oh, um, we should just record another week or we could just pull up an old tiger uh, no, an old episode I, I give that option i also said i can do it from any because i this is already planned my dad was yeah. his last day here it was the only day here no i, I know but him. we didn't know that until Whoa, that day i up. love when yeah. you get angry look at your eyes no i just want to make sure that i'm not being put on blast or something <laughs> you, are being, I, you are you are being put on blast by the way i'm being, being put on blast <laughs> by the by yeah, yeah, blast. But if you want to throw me under the bus i gave options i even said i didn't know you were in the, the hospital that day but i said from two all the way till leave at seven to get to the dinner with my family on time. I know, but we didn't know that until probably 2 p.m. <laughs> that you had to leave. So in the meantime, I had been making plans because I was in the hospital all day. I was like, look, I'm going to try and get home mm-hmm. in time. I never canceled. And so um, regardless for me, I'm always like, of course, your parents I'm, are in I'm town. Tr- you know, I'm trying to do the podcast. I always try to do the podcast. I know, Gilbert. I block out a whole Monday. All right. I prepare for Tuesday in case you guys want to redo one, which you guys uh, never redo a podcast okay. ever. No, see, you, you... No, but I want to just make sure that I know that you know where my... Well, I'm here for the podcast. Gilbert, we would never... Okay, even for, if you weren't, age, no one could for, replace you. But, no one is better than you at this. I don't want to ever do this podcast without you. You could replace Bobby. I know. He told me he wants to replace Bullshit. me sometimes. <laughs> He would never. No, he would. I'll say the you names know. right now. The, the, the names yeah, that are the, out there. Give me the name. Give me the name. Sandy Danto. There's Nick Youssef. Who? There's, really have fucking emo Nick Youssef on this? No you, way. You, 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 yeah, you said it. I think, use that. Gilbert, look. I, I love wanna, those I guys. I just want to put it out there. I'm just saying these are things that are said look, to me. I love those guys. <laughs> uh, he, but I would never do this without you. You're my comfort then blanket. Then let's start our own podcast without Bobby. <laughs> because. You know what? You know I would do it without you. See? That's what I'm saying. No, he wouldn't. Yes, I, I'll, no, I'll put, baby, I'll put if you fucking. I'll put it right here. I'll if you it. say again okay. that we can't do this podcast without him, that gives him power. No, it's not and that. I take his power away right now. Of course we can produce. I can be a part of anything. I can work with anybody. Bryce, what I, what I I'm will, saying is I, will seriously I don't <laughs> want to. It's not Bryce. fun for me without you. I know. I'm going to say this for Bobby. I'll say this right here. We won't edit look this at me, out. Look I'm at me in the eyes. Look at me right in the eyes. I'm okay with leaving this podcast. and I. So everyone knows I own 25% of this LLC. I'll give it all away. And I can walk away with this thing without money. And I'll See be okay with did? it. No, I just want to put that. If you want to, I will walk away from it. Oh, my God. It's yeah. getting so real. What, why are you getting so emotional? Right no, now. if you want, I can tell you kind of want me out sometimes. I, I, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert, no. But I would yeah, never. Yeah, yeah, I would yeah, say yeah. That I'm not. I, let, let him. Let, let him speak. Right, let him speak. Let him I want to say I have been here since day one. Mm-hmm. Right. I have. We, we know how that whole thing started. Yeah. The first eight months. Yeah. How times I've canceled other things to yeah. Yeah. be here. Yeah. Uh, no questions asked. I just cancel them. Right. Even sometimes I show up late for an audition. Right. Because I'm like, mm-hmm. we're at 4 a.m. here. I didn't care. But it's t- I got busier because the podcast helped me. Listening to your stories helped me with my career. I started doing more things. I got busy. I always block out Monday. I tell George I can always meet Wednesday during the day if we cancel it, if we don't, for mm-hmm. the business meetings for the LLC. Um, but also, I'm okay if you're like, we need someone else. I can leave. I'm not that kind of person that's vendetta that's going to be like, I need money for all the work I didn't get paid for. I'll just walk away. It's fine. If you want to replace me, like you have threatened me in the past. He has threatened you? Yes. N- not in front of me, though. Oh, uh, we'd never record it because I would never allow it oh, but to make also, Bobby look bad because I want to make sure he looks good. But also, he never <laughs> he never does it in front of me because he knows there'd be an argument. 
I just want to let you know, Gilbert. You told me to look in your eyes. You're looking. Fuck. You're looking. You're looking away. From, you're looking away from me. You told me to look in your eyes. I'm giving you the respect as my elder. As my I, I, as my elder. I, I, no, the, I right now. We're not editing this. Leave we're this not, in we're, here. We're not gonna edit it. We're not editing. Oh, this. I don't want to edit it. All right. Oh, I cannot right now look oh, you in the eyes because I don't know how. Number one, you got into a fucking spat with Kalila. Right? She was the one that getting emotional. I wasn't getting. And all of a sudden, I'm the fucking one. Look. How the fuck am I the one? Listen. Bobby, look in my eyes. No, I'm not looking in your fucking <laughs> eyes. I'm so angry with you right now, dude. All right, number one. Let's right. just breathe. This is so funny to George. No, Let's I, kick no, him I, out. I, I, get, no, no. You're out. <laughs> go go yeah, through yeah. the list. All right, here's the thing. Number God, one. No. Okay. I ain't giving it up. I ain't giving it up. You're not giving one. you 25%? I'm going to come here every Monday night. I don't care if you kick me out. I'm going to be here. I'm going to knock on the door. I'm going to sneak in. <laughs> and here's number one, okay? Mm-hmm. Is, is that I feel like now... It's fine that you have a little bit of a pent up resentment, mm-hmm. right? And just I want you to just clearly tell me what your resentment is. He just did, bro. I did. There's no resentment. So, so the resentment is no, but no, the, him th- threatening. No, not, it's not. Threaten. not, no, not, no, not no, 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 no. I'm gonna play no, referee because right, I know exactly I, no, what he no, said. Let him do it. Okay, let, let him say his problem. Let him say his full. Let me say what I want to say. Okay, he's not threatening, but he is giving me like now. Like how he feels, like he could just walk away, but that's not the resentment. That's just his, you know, what he, his reaction to the resentment is. Yeah. So the resentment is what? You're, you keep planting seeds and you keep dropping little crumbs as if to suggest that he is replaceable. You make him feel I dispensable. Understand that. I understand so for that. somebody who's bent, you know, bent over, I'm going to be honest with you, Gilbert. I thought that last Tuesday was your bad. You know, but all the other times that you've ever come through has obviously made up for a thousand of t- of those Tuesdays. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? You've bent over backwards time and time again to be here and record this with no pay, right? Mm-hmm. You do make the mistake of, of undoing these underhanded comments of saying that he's easily replaceable. And you don't take into consideration mm-hmm. that for the past year and a half, this has been the easiest thing to do. We get along so well. Mm-hmm. I don't want to fucking sit in front of somebody that isn't Gilbert. It's mm-hmm. going to be awkward. I'm going to start sweating again. The whole process is going to be painful for me again. I'm going to be anxious. Um, you know, it's not going to be, this is a team. We're all in this 25% of the pie and no one is fucking going anywhere. And you need to start appreciating each other. But yeah, if someone, if we think someone made a mistake or wasn't clear with communicating, we need to be able to say I that just out can't loud. Look at him right now. I'm, I haven't broke eye contact. I know you haven't because you, you talk. Just you, look you, at I each other, even, please. I I, if I look at him, I'm gonna scream at him. He taught me. Scream at me. Look at him, sweetie. You just... taught me this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this yeah, is so well, I, he has. I'm. You're my prefer- peripheral. Okay, I, I can see you're looking like literally so close to my eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'll look at you right now. Here's what I'm gonna do. All right. I'm going to I'm going to absorb mm-hmm. what you just said to me. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm going to analyze. Mm-hmm. You know, and try to be adult about it. Okay. And I'm going to look at my own behavior, my side of the street, mm-hmm. see where I went wrong. Okay. Number 1, I just want to say this to defend myself. Okay? <laughs> Is is that when I used to open for Polly Shore and Mencia back in the day, I spent six years of abuse mm-hmm. by them, psychological abuse. <laughs> okay, carry my golf bags. You go to the gig early and take my box of merchandise. You have to sell it for free. You know stuff like that, right? And. I did six years of that absorbing, you know, and at the time I did build resentment, but I never lashed out the way Gilbert did. I didn't lash out. Yeah, you know, but, and gave, gave them consequences, you know, but what I did was I put them, just put it away. And then as later you look at, you know I mean, those situations and you go, these, those were healthy things that I needed to go through. To be abused for six years? Yeah. I don't think that's very Because healthy. I'll tell you why. I'll tell can you I, why it's can not. Can I tell you why? Can I tell you why? Okay. I'll tell you why. Because without Polly, I wouldn't have had Mitzi. Mm-hmm. Okay? Without Mitzi, I would have no comedy store. 
Mm-hmm. Without Carlos Mencia, I would have no Matt Blake. Because Carlos, Matt Blake, my agent, represents Carlos Mencia also. Okay? Mm-hmm. So without those gifts, you know, which are like gifts that you can't even pay money for those things because it's like they're just, you know what I mean, dream, dream gifts, really. Right? I would have never gotten to where I've gotten to. I don't believe to. that at all. I, I know. I, I understand that you don't believe it, but these are truthful things that happened. These are things that yeah. have happened in my career. So there is no other reality. I know. I understand that. But what I'm saying is yeah. you say that's healthy for you to absorb all this abuse for six years. Uh-huh. I think the reason it's not healthy overall in the big picture is because you allow somebody to believe that they can treat you that way and they perpetuate that behavior to the next person, to the Jesus Trejos and all their other openers. Yeah. And everybody just sits there and takes the abuse and no one says, you know what, dude, fuck you. I'm not your fucking slave. You uh, don't get to treat me like all that. All right, good, good. So this is I'm going to give you the scenario then. Mm-hmm. All right. Fuck you, Polly. You don't get to treat me that way. Not not necessarily in those words. But I know, but I'm just just here. Okay, like because be, you don't know him. I don't. You're I do. Right. Okay. Yeah. I know the whole family. Mm-hmm. So, yo, Polly, this is how I feel about what you're doing. Uh-huh. In his head, oh, you're getting exposed to clubs yeah. that no, normally would never see you. Mm-hmm. You get ex- you get to play my mother's room in Hollywood, right? That's what he would be feeling if I talked to him about it, right? And so in any sensible, and I know a lot of guys that said, fuck that guy, Mm -hmm. or you know, I'm not doing that, and I know where they're at. There's never a situation or a story where some guy said to Carlos Mencia, I'm not gonna fucking open for you, when he asked, and I know two guys that he had asked, and they said fuck you to him that made it you know so my point is is that i don't have any scientific results you know so you know i'm not th- threatening gilbert i love him you know what i mean <laughs> but i'm just saying that you I know think... just listen okay. hear what i'm saying okay this is a good episode that's good because this is healthy and we're you know we're exploring you know this is not easy to do Right, and we're all, you know, talented, volatile people, <laughs> right? And we're in this, you know, this room, and we're talking about this is healthy. But I'm just, just for argument's sake, right? I feel like the six years that I went through with those guys was only beneficial to me, and I love them for that, you know? And I never threatened them. Thank God you have thick skin. Thank God you're able to brush it off your shoulders and see the positive out Uh of it. uh Thank God you have those abilities. But I think that, you know, not everyone is like you. And I think that could be potentially very detrimental to someone's psyche, you know, as a comedian over the course of like sustaining six years of that type of, you know, treatment. Yeah. And what I'm saying is you're not Polly Shore. And Gilbert isn't you at in your 20s. What I'm saying is you guys mutually respect each other. Yeah. And even though there's a part of you that feels like, you know, he should be indebted to me. Yeah. I can promise you that every day of his life, Gilbert feels gratitude. And he expresses it to me always. He can't always to you because, you know, you don't respond to text messages. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> Gilbert has has always always and i can see it has always been grateful and even his mom is grateful when she talks to to when 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 i talked to her she was like do you know how how thankful i am to you and bobby for bringing gilbert in and making him a part of your family yeah he that's because he talks to his mom about that yeah so don't ever think that there's no gratitude and don't ever think i did i never said that I have never said in my. I've never said that I don't think that Gilbert's gra- gra- grateful but or not grateful. I, I, I right? caught that. You know, I kind of. I know, get but that this is. For me. I know, but right. Just that response of him going, I can just leave this whole thing, no money, this and that, and just leave. Right. That's not the resentment. The resentment is something else. Mm-hmm. Right. 
So I want to get to whatever that is so that I can address that. I can tell you where that resentment stems from. It's from people always writing in and saying like, fuck Gilbert, get rid of him. You know, at that after a year and a half of reading a bunch of that shit, yeah. that shit gets old, dude. All right, dude. No, no, it was good that we did the episode without Gilbert because there were so many like YouTube comments like I yeah. see what and Gilbert I, does. Yeah. And, and also, I, like, so- I, I also, I also, there was a big difference, right? Of mm-hmm. la- I th- I feel like, Last week's episode was shit because he wasn't there. I'm going to defend last week's episode. All right, I'm just saying. Funny. I thought listen, it was funny. I'm, but listen to me right now, yeah. all right? And I, uh, myself, I felt like there was an absence, right? And I don't ever want to do a podcast like that again, mm-hmm. just in the way I did it, you know? And so my thing t- toward him is like, dude, don't do that again because this is something that... I mean, if you think that you're busy and you got shit to do, I also have a lot of shit to do I agree. Mm-hmm. and I still do it, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. I still have, this is not my whole career. This is an aspect of what I do. And um, also at the same time, I do thousands of other podcasts on my free time to help this one, to help us. So what I'm saying is is that my thing wasn't I'm not threatening him. I'm just saying that yo, last week you weren't here and I just I'm not cool with it. I learned something so valuable last week and it's this. When I was I was obviously feeling really sick and <clears throat> I thought to myself, "You know what? I should take the week off." And Gilbert said, "You know what? You should take the week off." But I didn't listen. I said, "You know what? The last time we took a week off, we got so much shit." For right. taking a week off, they called us lazy. They called us inconsistent. We just got so much hate for it, right? So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get discharged out of the hospital and I'm going to fucking record a podcast. Even if Gilbert's not there, we're just going to fucking power through this and muscle through it. And I learned a very valuable lesson. What is it? They'll hate you whether you do it or you don't. No, I, they got, I got, we got so much hate for this. It was a shitty episode. It was horrible. And I thought, well, like. Wait, where'd you see the hate? Oh my are God! You look me, on, bro? yeah. I was George. Where are so, you not reading? I, I only follow the YouTube comments, and they were very like it, it was overwhelmingly positive. Like it's great to see. Like <laughs> you a, read them, right? I don't read them because like Bobby said, not he told me it was not to read that stuff, but it'll just pop up. I don't mm. read it. But lesson learned for me was that don't 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 go through hurdles for these people because they don't they a lot of them didn't appreciate the fact that like we were both not in a good place. I mean, I. Uh, I think people uh, appreciate the honesty, right, the stop. openness. But I, right, I, I, that's not what I got. The tweets were yeah. like, "You're they were shitty, you're all horrible." Right, stop, 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 stop. Everyone, stop. Slap King, Slap King here. Stop. Mm-hmm. Everyone, stop. No, I'm okay. This is what it is. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing, Pink Dick. Can I say one thing? No, to no. What you say? It's very. It's just. So you go know, say what you're gonna say now okay. because I'm about to say some shit. Okay. What I was trying to say it was not trying to threaten you. Okay. Yes. Look, you, look, look him in the eye. I can't. Okay, fine. I'll just talk. <laughs> I, I wasn't trying it. to threaten you. Yeah, yeah. I just, it was my way of trying to make it clear that when you say, what are you doing? I do this. All right. I do. I just want to make sure you don't think I'm just like sitting around. Everyone pulls make, their I weight here. Sure. Okay. I'm, Everyone, here, I'm ev- here for this. We did it. Everyone pulls their weight. Okay, what were you going to say about last week? No, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to go on just an overall rant about it mm-hmm. and that word discussion is over okay okay i just had a spiritual awakening <laughs> okay i'm sorry <laughs> all right oh wow you're oh. valuable Gilbert, to, you need to smile up, bitch i'll sm- smack you in the wait, eyes wait, wait, me wait, wait. yeah let me talk okay jesus i'm sorry that i'm uh, i'm not look at me right now Look at me right now. Look at me right now. Look at me right now, dude. Because you're never going to get this out of me again. I know. That's what's weird. I'm sorry about alluding to the fact that maybe that we could ever replace you because we cannot. And um, (laughs) I will never say that again. I apologize. You're very valuable to this podcast. and, um, And I appreciate your talents and you as a person and your hard working and my hat's off to ya. <laughs> to ya. Okay. That's when people I'm not say, done talking. Okay, sorry. All right. Number two, I don't give a fuck 
what anyone says about this podcast from here on out. Okay? I don't read. I'm not going to read it. I will not read it. I haven't read it. That's why I don't, my, my, I'm not dictated by it. All right? I, you know, when I was on Mad TV and I saw my IMDb page and there was 15 pages of me being a bad actor, I read that shit and I wanted to kill myself and that was the last time I do that. I don't give a shit. fuck. Okay? I don't give a fuck. All right? So, if you want to listen to this podcast, you can listen to it. If you don't, then go to Fire and the Kid or whatever you want to fucking do. Flappers. But, flappers, comedy or whatever. <laughs> but, I, you know, that's your choice. Okay? And thank you for listening. But from here on out, we are not. I'm just going to do what I do. I'm not going to worry about it. If I lose listeners, we lose listeners. And um, if you ever threaten me like that again, though... <laughs> About me, I can leave and this and that. Yeah, you know, number one, right? You piece of fucking shit, dude. Forget. I, I thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank I'll you. say one more thing. No, no, no. I'll say one more thing. No, I like. No, no, no. no, no. I like the views. I know. I, I love the views. I know. Right, here's what I want. I just want to be here. That's what. I, I thank you make. so much. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay. But I just want to say this, though. Bobby. Thank you. Uh, no, no. Thank you. No, my but thank you. But. Just, just FYI, FYI. Yes, okay. I'm listening yes. to everyone in this room. I split it four ways. Mm -hmm. Okay, just listen to this fucking thing, and that's extremely generous. It is, because you're the name. Okay, it's really generous, and I know you're going. Oh, you don't do any of the work, which I don't. But you're the no, name. You I show you up. You do, and I do it. And right, the other podcast. but I feel like I'm being very generous, okay. And let's just let that be said. I have no resentment toward it. I believe that everyone in this room, you know, deserves the quarter, you know, percent of of the podcast. And um, I literally have no resentment. If we make millions of dollars, I'll take the two fifty, okay. <laughs> Even though I deserve six fifty, I. All right. Would you like, just, my, would you like some you of mine? Would, would you like some of mine? No. You sure? You look great. You lose the weight. How are you losing the weight, Gilbert? I can't fucking believe this shit. Why? We got it out. We got it yeah, out. Yeah. It's over. There was no resentment. I can't just believe so you know, look, I apologize to you. There's no resentment. There's no, I don't none. care about the abuse. It was just to make sure was I supposed to be here. That's all. That's it. I just want everyone to be happy. I'm happy. I also just want to say that I take back what I said 10 minutes ago about everyone hating on the episode. I did. We did get a lot of love and support for when we were both sick. And I really appreciate you guys. It's a, it's, um, it's, it's, it's a, it's a tough time because Kalila's sick. You know, Gilbert, you know, it's pilot season. He wants to make it. <laughs> I can't. You know, and um, George has got a bunch of shit on the thing. And it's like, there, it's, there's a lot going on. But look, on. guys, we're talking about all of this and... We haven't made a single dime yet. Now, this week, we've got the merch in, and we're finally going to see you yeah, know, guys, where this guys, goes. Support. Listen, we have may not made a dime out of 76 fucking episodes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So much talk. 76, okay? Got a lot of abuse, we got. Though. We've got, we've yeah, got sure. you know, guests coming along that's lined up. Dalia said he's going to do it. We got, um, let's get Dalia for Monday. Okay. Let's mix it up. Let's get yeah. Delia for Monday. Let's Andrew Santino wants to do it. a bunch of people want to do it. Al Madrigal, oh. people want to do it. So we got we got to start getting guests, okay? And but we, but but we got these beautiful shirts. We do. And We're how much are they? We haven't. We'll talk about it. No, let's just give a price now. How much are we they have to make? To figure that out. Yeah, figure yeah. that out We're tomorrow. Still out tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, but that's the day before this comes out. So uh, yeah, it'll yeah. All be up but on we the have website. all the products and um. They look nice. I like they really them a lot. do not look nice, and this is just the first generation. Yeah, but these will be the vintage ones. They'll be know? super vintage. In fact, let's just do this. Well, can we do this? Can we just only make one round of these and then make another round of yeah, different ones? Yeah, we're gonna make ones? a different one every time. There's yeah, two hundred so, of each of these shirts, right? So they're so, gonna sell out very quickly. Yeah. So unfortunately, this I think is, I this will be the last time that's it. that we sell this one. The original. Yeah. It's gonna be slightly yeah, different every gonna time. It's gonna be OG. Yeah, yeah I like that. So that's a good. That's a good thing to do. I um I wanted to talk about one more thing before we um wrap up. Um, someone sent me an email that got me all paranoid, and you know, I'm all in when I start getting paranoid and the wheels start turning. They said that like the one percenters of like billionaires and super rich people are starting to buy like all these bunkers, mm -hmm. um, and in anticipation for some type of like. Um, I'll tell you why. Can you why? Why? 
because Steve Bannon believes in apocalypse. He's an apocalypse guy. Yeah. And he believes that there's a fourth war that's about to happen. Okay. There's fourth war? Yeah. Steve Bannon. His there's three face- war. The, he's, he, he believes in this thing. I don't know exactly. I read an article about it where it's like he believes like the Civil War, World War One. There's another one. Not Vietnam. It was another one. And then there's a fourth great war that's mm-hmm. about to happen. And you can already see them behaving in a way where it's like they're poking at Iran. They're posturing. Right? <laughs> and they're posturing. But there's that he believes in the apocalypse and that that there's a, he, there's two books that he believes in two authors that wrote about it. Mm. I forgot their names. When we talk about, it, but my next question week. was, yeah. uh, uh, politics why, aside, when it comes to bunkers, are we all bunking together, the four of us, and continuing this podcast? Who would you bunk with if you could bunk with just five people? Well, we're, we don't have a bunker. Well, we're gonna get one. <laughs> Well, let's build when we, a get, when we sell these T-shirts, the first thing That's we're buying right. is a bunker. My place is probably ap- apocalypse ready. Uh, I really, you have a bunker, George? Yeah, no he bunker. Also has, but, he also has uh, a chicken coop, so that's weird. Wait, you, yours is apocalypse ready in what way? Just <coughs> prepared. Do you own the house? Uh, my cousin does. Your cousin owns the house that you live on. In. Yeah. Can we invest money into making a bunker there? Yeah. In Not the backyard. Real. Yeah. But we would still have to travel to his house to get to the bunker. That's true. Like, if some shit happened now, your, your bunker would have to just be like, oh, shit, grab the cats, we're going in. And the bunker would have to be stacked already with food and, and all the, you know. I mean, we have time. It's not going to happen tomorrow. We don't know. Well, we're well, fucked then. The, oh, in Home Depot, so I started shopping. They have like a... You oh, can, oh, what? Look online to see if the people sell bunkers. They do. For, and Home Depot does. It's a 14-man bunker. Wait, Wait Home what? Depot does? Yeah. Home Depot? Where can I put it? In underneath the ground. <laughs> pre-made, pre-fab? pre-made. Patented it's... technology one eight five five four bunkers. Atlas survival shelters. Oh, Atlas does too, but Home Depot even has one. <coughs> wow, you dig? You just dig a hole. You can't just. We gotta get it put in. You and I can't just dig a fucking. Oh, hole. I know. We'll get uh, lowest Mexicans model fifty thousand. That's the on Atlas. Atlas lowest model fifty thousand. Because Atlas has been making bunkers since the like nineteen forties or something like that. Yeah, I, I'm definitely gonna get a bunker, but I can't. I feel we, like you just use it to play video games. I'll never see you again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like Fallout. But hey, so on your property, we can put. If I if I spent fifty thousand dollars, yeah, we you would let you would your a cousin would allow me to build a fourteen man bunker right now. And how many um in these bunkers? How many fourteen people? So we put a list, right? And then we'll also have like, what do you call it? A fallout list, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So we'll have like 14 people, but then if like four of them aren't there, we'll have, we can, ha- we'll have a line. Okay. <laughs> no, like, like just the, four people just waiting out there. Yeah, the wait list. Yeah, the, 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 the Johnsons, wait list. The Johnsons didn't show up, <laughs> right? And the bomb's about to go off. Come on in. But then what if the Johnsons show up with their baby? They're out. They're dead. Jesus. Show up on time. Yeah. yeah. To the apocalypse. My God. Anyway, do we have any questions? On hopeful advice. Where are we at time? We're at hour. Because we had a 30 what a minute. Weird, <laughs> what a weird podcast. What a very tiger belly podcast. It needed to come out. I think this needed to happen. Do you think people are going to want to listen to that? Probably not. But it's okay. I we think just so. okay. Yeah. It goes along the same line as if you don't want to listen, I think we're failing. Then, you know, that's that. But just give us a five star review. That's it. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. On Helpful Advice with Bobby at Kalila. This is from uh, David. Oh, and I know oh, I'm 19 and my brother Tim is 31 and has struggled with alcoholism for many years and has manipulated all of my family members, including me. So we have become very distant and I would like to find a way to reconnect because we left things on bad terms before he moved out. Anyway, I'm moving to Seattle where he lives and I just have no idea how to, how to start things up. If I could hear from the gang on future podcasts, how would be very grateful so 19 years old he's from ireland right uh, yeah say. i think so no. or he's from some somewhere moving to seattle where his brother is that I he think has he was he's ar- trying to reconnect with his um he doesn't know where he lives though we don't know i think he has a weird language he might be from ireland actually he's European, yeah bro. but he's 19 brother <laughs> 31 form, uh alcoholic separated himself from the family now, younger well, I mean, the, there's so many different things in this. It's number one is if he's his brother is actively still drinking, then you know your job as the younger brother isn't to enable him. So, you know, it's almost as if 
you know, if what I would do, and this is I'm not this is helpful, I think, is is that if Steve Okay, if I was drinking, right, and I was in a different city than Steve, right, I would want Steve to wait until I get sober so then I can reach out to Steve. Because I wouldn't want Steve to come and try to save me because then he becomes a codependent and he starts like, you know, I become his life. And I don't think that that is healthy. Mm. I think that the dude should wait until his, you know, unless there's absolutely no communication and he's, he's too afraid. He's afraid to think that maybe he died or something. Yeah. Right. Then maybe to go check up on him. But so you're saying wait and or, or make sure he's sober before you actually try to reconnect. Yeah. I mean, because it's like, it, what are you going to go over there and connect with an alcoholic who's active in this disease? It's like it's mm-hmm. a it's a it's a it's a it's a mind fuck. Mm-hmm. You know. And he's only 19 too. Yeah. It's like you know I would wait until <sighs> he tries to get sober. Right. Yeah. Um. I have no expertise in that department, so that question's all you. Yeah. I mean, that's what my thing. Um, Holly Holm won that fight. I didn't think so. 3-2 Holly. I mean, You even think at, Holly won that fight? Yeah, everyone yeah. does. Look at fucking Brendan Shaw. <clears throat> believes it was like a five-point difference. The fight that I saw, Holly Holm mm-hmm. won mm-hmm. decisively. I, it's always the question of, obviously, she threw a lot more, but I don't. Th- I think Durandamy hurt her more i mean aside from the the illegal shots and that did a lot that to Holly. was also that already was, that's bogus. already bullshit <coughs> that was already that's up. two points should be a point deducted but it was very close i think it could have gone either way but no. what what should have maybe it should have favored maybe holly's because that ref should have taken that point away never seen him too by the way never Don't know who and then is. how he stopped the fight early in the fifth round to make up somehow for not you know, taking the point away earlier. It's yeah. like, no, the damage is already done. You needed to take that point away mm-hmm. then. You know, she had late shots in two different rounds. It's pretty obvious. Like for me, and I I'm, I don't want to blame the fighter. Like I don't want to blame Durandami, but you're a professional fighter. You should probably, you know, have a better ear for that bell or have a little bit more. No, he, you're in the, you're, it, your adrenaline's pumping. Once, right? So it, does, it, it doesn't matter. You get a it, warning from the judge, from the ref. the ref's, his responsibility I would say that, yeah. to take a point away. Yeah. Okay. Rogan said it. I agree with Rogan. Mm-hmm. And just on face value, even without it, I thought that Holly won. And um, that's fucking bullshit. Durandami is a very long girl. So I thought that she was more effective when she did throw. She didn't throw as many. Like, but when she did, they landed. And to me, she did more damage to Holly than Holly to her, in my opinion. So you can, it depends really how you score it, you know? And that's the thing with MMA. It's like the scoring system is still kind of very like murky. It's murky mm-hmm. water. It's really, really subjective rather than, you know, a very precise um, scoring system. Anderson Silva, retire. <laughs> I still, He's still fun to watch, No, though. he is fun to watch. Uh. He did a great job, but I'm just now going... He did a great job. He won that fight decisively, I thought. Yeah. He was fun to watch, but... Do you know that... Um, it Was it Chael Sonnen who said that... You know how he spoke English pretty well in his um, after his fight? Yeah. Apparently, he's always known English, that he's just been faking it? He chooses not to, yeah. He admitted that. Oh, <laughs> I didn't That's know funny. that. But like, so Jose Aldo doesn't speak English at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I mean, a message to Jose Aldo, okay? You were champion for 10 years. Most of your fights are in America. Learn the fucking language. <laughs> Ten years. I think Get a he w- tutor. He would have been a lot richer too, because once you become an English speaking champion and you do the media rounds here in America, yeah, yeah, oof, like you're talk you're, shit and yeah. all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's true. That's like look at Connor. That's why the UFC loves an English speaking champion because they can do the media rounds here. Like Johanna is very funny when she does it and she's mm-hmm. she learned it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? They all learn it. I mean and I don't think Josie Aldo's dumb. He's a smart guy. You can just tell. I love Jose Aldo. Anyway, guys, I know that was a weird one. A lot of resentment. Um, no resentment. No, I mean no. It, it, we, I, th- I felt like I felt like we 
you know, we we did it, and um, I haven't eaten, I haven't slept much, and I'll um, feed you, babe. Really, with what? Oh, there's bibimbap. I don't want that again. Okay. I want real shit, <laughs> like pizza. Like, like pizza? pizza. Give pizza. me pizza. Okay. All right. Uh, any okay. shows for Bobby? Um, yeah, I mean, it's a very important one. I'm in Schaumburg this weekend. Mm-hmm. It's in Chicago, and um, <coughs> just, yeah, come out, man, come out. We'll dry hump. Oh, really? I like dry humping. Should you say the protocol again for yelling at you? Tiger yeah, I don't yeah, give a shit repeat. at this point. I didn't learn. Let's repeat. If you don't want your feelings hurt, just don't scream anything out in the middle of his shows. It's as simple as that. Scream it out after the show. Um, But um, the, Bobby will also be in Houston March 3rd to the 5th. Yeah. And at the end of March, I think you're doing a gig at the Santa Ana Casino in um, New Mexico. I am? Yeah. <laughs> With who? <laughs> With what? With who? Where's the show? How much I just, is it? I just got good? the, I just got the, yeah. It's a good deal. So charity. I, I just got It's the a charity? Email. Would you do charity? Santa Ana. All right. Let's do it. I love New Mexis. Yeah. All right. All right. Are we done for anything else you want to plug? Uh, oh, George, wait. Anything? Hang on, baby. Let's talk about the um, Kobe's thing. Or you want me to you do, do it? it? You do it, babe. <laughs> um, I, one more thing. Are you guys hugging it out? Okay. There, we go. Okay. Hey! there we go. There we go. There we go. You guys, Bobby and I, um, we have a friend, Kobe, and we've recently teamed up with him. Kobe Bryant. <laughs> I think his last name was Shoffman. Never really. mind. <laughs> Not as exciting. <laughs> but he, he started a foundation basically to sponsor students in Uganda through their studies. So like this, the fee of like eighty dollars a year pays for um, a year of school fees, room and board, and like essential it. like scholastic materials and stuff. Um, go ahead, go ahead, talk about it. This is our give back moment. Mm-hmm. Kobe, I've known Kobe since he was a baby. Yeah, and Kobe um, is my manager's son, mm-hmm. and this kid is a good kid. Very good kid. I mean, when I was in New York, he would come to my shows when he was out there. Uh, he texted me when I was in Israel. I couldn't, I couldn't meet up with him. But he's like my son. Yeah. Kobe is. I love him so much. Mm-hmm. And um, he's always had a good heart. And um, he, he took a I trip. don't know what he's doing. What is it? <laughs> so he took a... <laughs> How do you start the so? Uh, I was yeah. like inside. Uh, what is it? It? I was in. He's helping hey, blacks. <laughs> He's helping blacks in Africa. We're gonna do this every week, by the way, because this is the foundation we're working. And I'll with. know inside and out the foundation, the foundation to help blacks in, in Africa, war torn countries. Mm. It's actually just Uganda. Whatever. So specifically, just Uganda. This is specifically yeah. Uganda Ebola. right now. We need medicine for Ebola. That's not. Is that correct? <laughs> no, just scholastic material, room yeah, and board. Yeah, but said they could get it. So get. We we're gonna buy masks. Mask. It doesn't matter. Let's, we can just make stuff up and they'll just give the money anyway. Oh, so make it sound worse. Okay. Right, right, right. Well, they're all bleeding. So like, <laughs> they're all just bleeding. They're bleeding from they ble- Ebola. They, they're bleeding. They need your money, guys. They need money. the money. <laughs> uh, they're going to die. Get little babies. There's just a thousand babies, right? That's what it says. For more information. <laughs> what kind of money do, are they looking for donations? Anything? or? Yeah, I think it's any any type of monetary donation. Okay, everyone that's listening, there's 100,000 of you that generally less than average if you just put one one dollar right one hundred thousand dollars yeah and it's a you know it's a it's a smaller foundation still (laughs) but i think that what he does it it's very direct so he it's not like you know you're saying like bigger organizations like the red cross and stuff sometimes i feel like when i give money there like i don't know exactly where my money is going but it's a very direct link to these kids in uganda um, so f- um, go to www.nation-foundation.org and there's a direct um, donation link there. Again, that's nation-foundation.org and we will put the link of this probably in the YouTube. Um, yeah, we'll put it on the YouTube and I think I'll try to put it on the website as well on uh, okay, one of yeah. our blog posts. And the podcast as well. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. And also I think they take like volunteers to... Um, so, um, I'm really happy that we're doing this guys. Cool. Uh, George, anything else from you? You want to talk to your people? Mr. Um, Captain just, Pink uh, Dick? go to the website, uh, the tigerbelly.com. It's now uh, live officially. Officially so. live. It is? Yeah. What's the day today? 
February 13th, 2017. How's it look on the phone? Looks great. Yeah, I'm going to check look it out it right now. Oh, it just and if, uh, if you don't like it now, it'll be uh, it'll be good within by the time this goes up. So uh, just imagine uh, you're seeing the same thing we're seeing right now. <laughs> Magic. Uh, anything else, George, from your other sites, Reddit? That you um, like to- Reddit's <laughs> nearly a thousand uh, subscribers or th- subscribers of the subreddit. So that's uh, growing quite uh, substantially. And Thank how's you, the YouTube? Pikachu. The YouTube looking? Uh, YouTube's going great. Uh, we're just at. Did I? Uh, did I even talk about the thirty thousand subscriber mark on that? I think so. We're at thirty three thousand. So. Oh, very cool. We're. Uh, Is that good? Yeah. That's good. It's great for something uh, so uh, so new. Yeah. <laughs> Except we haven't been doing vlogs because Bobby won't let me record him That's lately. Awesome. All right, I'll come over this week. Yeah. Oh God, you're so creepy. Uh, <laughs> and George, uh, anything else like um. Your stand-up career? Do you want to promote your open <laughs> mic that you haven't done in a while? Uh, not really, but I'm hosting again at Tribal Cafe this Wednesday, so the day this comes out. So I'm hosting every <laughs> month again. Yet. Yeah, we you need t- to go I see t- George. I took a long time off because I was hosting on Tuesdays, and the day that I would host was actually like was every time like we pushed a podcast to a Tuesday right. would be the day I was supposed to host, so I had to cancel hosting. So I'm you got Wednesday was a little now? Rusty, rusty, but yeah, now I'm... Uh, uh, why don't you give Bobby a ta- Why don't you give Bobby a taste of that opening joke? Don't do uh, it, George. No, 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 no nope, don't do not it. Not gonna burn it. I like I, it. <laughs> don't, don't do, don't list, don't take Gilbert's advice. I know, my yeah. career, stand up career. <laughs> uh, follow oh, us. Wait, go ahead. Yeah, no, I'll wait until we do, uh, do a do a live stream here, and you'll interrupt me whenever I'm trying to set up a joke for the live stream. You Periscope. always do that. I. Oh, also, people don't know that we do a Periscope after the podcast. There's a couple. There's probably like a hundred loyal you uh, listeners that. Stay after the, or I don't know if they don't know, but they go yeah. to the Periscope on Monday night. Yeah. Come listen to us. Follow us on that. We we do our Periscopes Monday night, and it's really nothing more than just uh, bullshitting for a couple minutes with you guys. Um, also, I think that we talked about this. Something to look forward to for everybody is I think we want to do another live podcast sometime in the next few months. Um, so if, I don't know if we're probably going to do it in, the, probably in the LA area yeah, still. LA. Yeah. But this time it's somewhere better, huh? Yeah, I'll try yeah, to get a good yeah, place. Yeah, we'll get a better place and we'll we'll maybe have a f- few more people than s- this time instead of just, you know, doing 20. Mm-hmm. And maybe we'll make that a habit. Like every few months, we'll just do a live podcast somewhere maybe and invite some people. A surprise guest. Yeah, we'll have some, maybe a guest or two. Mm-hmm. Sounds fun. And um, I think uh, that's all we have for this week. Um Go ahead, Gilbert. Uh, make sure you follow us on the social meds, such as Instagram at Tigerbelly. Uh, follow us on Twitter at the Tigerbelly, and also you can email us any questions you may have at the Tigerbelly at gmail dot com. And you can follow Kalila on all social media at Calamity K. George on George underscore Kimmel at uh, Instagram. And all tickets and information that is Bobby Lee, the Slep King, the Dab King, the one, the only, my master, mm-hmm. who I insulted today, and I feel so bad. Why? I will get a punishment later. Why? I don't know why I said you it. Feel bad? No. You don't feel bad? No. I feel bad. Um, but, uh, yes, you can follow all this stuff at www.bobbyleelive.com, and I don't exist on the internet. All right, bye. Bye. See you guys. Ciao. Kalau dapat kau tahu lebih, buruk kaya kapan